Hey guys! Hi guys! So, here we go. I guess it's kind of the start of the San Diego Comic Con stuff we need to uh, review. And Definitely. first up is probably our favorite line. Usually every year, last year we really loved them. This year it's Fugitive Toys, and we got all kinds of good stuff from Fugitive, so yes. let's review them. <laughs> Alrighty, up first we have, we'll go ahead and do both real quick. So it is White Lantern Wonder Woman, and of course she is in the line of the White Lantern that we got from Fugitive Toys last year, which was Batman, Flash, and Superman. So now we get to add a woman to it, and it's Wonder Woman, <laughs> and it looks really, really awesome. Awesome. So we got both versions. We got the ah. So of course, we got the regular version and the glow in the dark version. So let's open up just one. Cause there's really no point in opening up both of them. Let's open up the glow in the dark one. All right, she is looking very Ooh. awesome. So of course, it's the same sculpt that we've seen on all the Wonder Womans. We have, we really haven't gotten a new sculpt yet on Wonder Woman. No, we haven't. That's kind of interesting too. I wonder why not. I bet we'll get a new sculpt when the new movie comes yeah. out and all of that. So probably get a bunch of them. Yeah. Yes. So you see her, her <laughs> lasso of truth and her outfit is white, but it's like a little clear in a way, just because it's the glow in the dark mm -hmm. version and uh it looks really nice i mean it just does you know it looks really great with the other three so as a Absolutely. set they look amazing and uh, of course we'd love to see the set keep going you know we want to see more of the white lantern core in there so uh hopefully maybe next year fugitive toys will do more in the line i think that's kind of their thing the white lantern series is definitely fugitive i don't yeah. see anybody else getting any of the white lanterns so yeah. fingers crossed we get more of that and event. you know you had to have them they just look really nice oh, and clean sure. and fresh now let's see if she looks any good when she glows in the dark up next we have john diggle in the arrow costume and i think that this pop looks pretty cool i've been looking forward to it and opening it so let's just cut the cake Nice. Oh, he looks so good. I love the hood on him. I do too. That's exactly what I was feeling. I was like, I hope it doesn't have like a bloop, like a lip thing with hair like girls do. But I think this is nice and smooth. We have the bow, which is, oh, it bends a little bit, which is cool. I like that. Yeah. It's like it's an actual string. His paint job is perfect. He looks great. Yeah, he does. And you know, what's really cool about this pop in general is that, you know, it's our only diggle we have so yes. far. You know, we still don't have a regular diggle like in a suit or rolled up sleeves or whatever. We'd like to see one, <laughs> you know, with, yeah, we'd like to see him, you know, in, in that uh, aspect, not so much in the arrow costume, but I'll still take it because it looks really awesome. And, I like it. Yeah, I, I like it a lot too. It actually looks really, really nice. I love the satchel on the back with the arrows because you can see all the little Yeah, the detail on this thing is actually really good. It's pretty amazing. I mean, you can see all the little arrows that he has on his, you know, uh, I don't know what he calls them in the show, but he has like the little tiny arrows. That he goes, you know, yeah. <laughs> which looks really nice, and uh, it's, it's got a lot of detail on this actually. And finally, in the line, the one that we okay, so we got all three of these, and then one day, just actually, just a few days ago, uh, Oliver Queen Island Scarred showed up on our doorstep, and we're like, wait a minute, we didn't order that, and did I was we? Like, when did you order this? Yeah, now we, we order a lot, a lot of pops, so sometimes you know yeah. we think, oh, uh, maybe we didn't. I don't know. Who knows? Let's open it. You know. Yeah. This pop is actually not available until September. Right. So that's what's interesting. They uh, they actually sent us this early, which is just amazing. Yes, thank you. And we'll you. talk about this in a second. <laughs> but if you guys do want him, at the beginning of August, Fugitive Toys on their website is going to have him up for pre-order. There's no date or set time or anything like that yet. Uh, Canadians in the Toronto Fan Expo, September 3rd through the 6th, he will be available at their booth. And will also be available at Wizard World San Jose September 4th through the 6th. So you have some chances to get them, but you got a little while to wait. But I can tell you, honestly, this pop is absolutely amazing. It I love it. The best one, I think, that came out of the Fugitive exclusive Line, yeah. this, this And season, really one of the best, so. just like, like exclusive. Oh, for sure. It's one of the best Arrow Pops that came out of the whole yeah. series. So yeah, I'm, I'm so excited to have I'm this. honestly going to say this is the best Arrow Pop yeah. so far in the I line, mean, anything so. with Stephen Amell shirtless is pretty much the best. So. <laughs> Fugitive sent it to us uh, just as kind of a thank you or whatever. So uh, we really do appreciate you doing that. Um, not a lot of stores actually do that. I know a lot of people think that they no. do, but that's not common for our channel to just be sent things. Not um, at all. You know, sent pops like, hey, thank you. So, uh, PJ, we really, really do appreciate you doing that. So, let's get into the review. Gosh. Okay, so this is really, really cool. We have the same face sculpt as all the other arrows, like the unmasked arrow that we've seen, the unhooded arrow or whatever yeah. they call it. <laughs> um, but the body's different, and it's actually really awesome. It's it's a completely new sculpt. I don't, I can't Absolutely. think of any other you know one that's like this, but. Me. You know, he's holding his tennis ball, he's got his bow, and you know, there's so much detail on this. You can see like little scars <laughs> That's what I was gonna and say. his tattoos, and it's really ridiculous, guys. It really is. I love the tattoos on this. This is absolutely amazing, and 
I'm not sure how they got that such like small yeah. print on there. It looks so good. I'm sure that was a total catastrophe Ooh, that you would try I to bet. attempt that. His tattoo that's like the Chinese writing or I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, it's so small on his stomach, chest area, his ribs. It's crazy that they were even even able to attempt that because I can tell you three years ago you would have never saw that on the pop. It just Absolutely no not. way, not gonna happen. And his little scars, they're not just like painted on. They're, they're part not, of the mold. Yeah, right? that's actually yeah. the mold. It is raised. So that is yeah. really fantastic too. They've captured pretty much almost all of the scars that he has on the show. I mean, yeah. the big ones, the small scars. Are yeah, the ones you're going to remember. Right? Yeah, no doubt about it. Right. I think this is a beautiful sculpt. I love this. This pop is a must-have for any Arrow yeah. fan out there. Just, just buy it, basically. That's all we're saying. I mean, it's, it's the Arrow line looks great. And I know a lot of you have wondered on the back of the box since it's kind of a newer one is there any other arrow lined up for it so on the back of the box we got felicity we've got no i'm just kidding we don't have anything it's the same it's the same don't pops. Tease the people like that so, <laughs> <laughs> we definitely want them so hopefully funko will you know expand the line so we can get felicity we want to see more in the line we want to see roy harper yes. slash red hood we want to see Raja Ghoul, which would be really cool. Duh, we need Raja Ghoul. We definitely need it. We need Dark Archer. We need Felicity, of course. Yes, we need uh, Nissa. Nissa. Come on now. <laughs> I'd like to see, uh, you know, I'd like to see Adam, even though. I think you know, I think that'd be a that'd really be kinda cool. Pop. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of people in air that we need. You really kind of need all of them, really. Now, one thing about the Island Scarred version, I'd like to see him back a little farther, as far as the Scarred version goes. I'd like to see him just island the arrow. I want to see him That's with this ugly one. blonde hair. God, no, not that ugly wig. <laughs> yeah. Just don't do that. Ugly just wig. because it's cool, you know? I, yeah. I think it'd be cool. I mean, it'd be cool to have it as a pop version, but gosh, I hope we never see that again on the show. I hate <laughs> that wig. Just a lot of good characters in there, and it's a great show, and if you haven't watched it, please do. It's on Netflix, man. You can yeah. catch up. <laughs> Get on there. That's true. That's true. Of course, they have the crossover with Flash, which is really cool. Yes. And now they're going into the new versions and it's just gonna be really cool. I I'm, think I'm this is going to be so exciting to see the characters that they can come up with as the show progresses because I know that they've announced that they're going to have different villains coming out and not only in Arrow but in Flash for the next season. Yeah. So it's going to be so exciting to see who these new characters are going to be and the Agreed. possibility of not only pops but different reaction figures yeah. and all of just that. All so. of it. Um, it's just a great TV show. It's just it's nice to see Arrow, Green Arrow soon. Um, you know, yeah. done right because you know he's kind of a character before nobody really cared about or knew about or whatever. But now he has a cool show and people are starting to follow him. And it's people just are cool. learning the greatness that is Green Arrow and Black Canary and their love story. So I love that <laughs> because that's one of my favorite love stories in all of the and comic soon to be White world. Canary, which should yes. be interesting. So and Hawk Sarah's Girl back. and you know we're gonna be introduced <laughs> to some new characters that you know we don't know a whole lot about, which I'm kind of excited to learn. So. Um, Definitely excited to learn. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen with the whole. We had the little version or the little peak of Connor in the Flash show, and I cannot wait until that progresses along. Maybe like, if it will, maybe, like, a little thing. It better, or maybe it's just like a little ode to comic lovers. But whew. probably just the ode to comic lovers. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, guys. So yeah, <laughs> VG of Toys exclusives. Watch out for them. They go up kind of uh, yeah generically on their website here and there. We'll of course post them when they do it's on a our surprise. Facebook. <laughs> so if you haven't followed us on Facebook, it's Funko Pop Hunters. Uh, follow us on Instagram, it's Funko Pop Hunters. Yep. Follow us on Twitter, it's Funko Pop Hunters. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's everywhere. So uh, we'll see you guys next time, and thank you to Future Toys. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys.
I'm glowing. I'm not even in the dark. 